Hello guys, welcome to Nest for Code, the place where code nourish. We are in 30 days coding challenge. Let's see the day 14 problem. Multiply the string vertically. Okay, let's move on to the problem statement. Write a program to multiply the string vertically. Assume length of a string will be always 5 and will be providing as input. And okay, so we can consider that the length is always 5 for a string. So the length of the strings are a fixed length, which is 5. And always the number, like the multiplication number will be given as input. So it can be 5 or 6 or it can be anything. The number which we want to multiply with. Okay, and we will try this problem without loops. Okay, guys. Okay, let's see a few sample input output. Okay, this is a word which is given word. And this will look like, and we can see the space also is in all this vertically aligned strings, right? Okay, guys. So, yeah, and this is the other way of output A, B, B, A, and we have to do it 8. So, this like this vertically, it's uh, eight, 8 times. Okay, guys. Yeah. And topic for this is string. Okay. So, okay, we can go through the recorded session of string part 2. Like, if you have not gone through it yet before trying this problem, and then try this problem. And you can also find the link in the description below for the session 2. Let's move on to the solution for this. So guys, we have to take two inputs from the user. One will be the string and another will be the multiplication factor, right? So the program will primarily consist of input, logic and output, right? Yeah. Okay, so, so let's see the, okay, so before we move on to the input part or anything, right? So we know, right, we can multiply the strings, right? Horizontally, we know how to multiply a string, right? Let us suppose if we have a string, I just say hello, right? And if I do with string into 5, it will be multiplied horizontally like this. Okay, so let's try one thing, right? If I pick the part, say 0th part of this string and I multiply it by, say, 5, what will I get? I will get all h, right? Okay, so let's do one more thing. Let's create a string, say, 1, and we pick the 0th part, right? And we add a space here, right? Okay, and then we do a string 1 into 5. What you are getting? We are getting somewhere similar that we want, right? But this is just for the first letter. But if we do it for all the letters, right? All the five. So we know this string will always contain five characters. So if we do it similar way for all the five, I think we'll get some similar output, right? That we want. Like we can do it, say, like let us suppose if I do it for say one also. Right? And this is coming like we are getting E like this, right? In this case. So if we see the output, like somewhere we are getting a similar output. But yeah, we should remember one thing, like yeah, we can try this without loops, but yeah, if you know, we can run the loop, like if the length, so here the length is fixed, which is five. So we can do it without loops also. But if the length is also variable, we need to do it using loops. Okay guys, so let's move on to the, so we got the idea, right? How to do it. Now let's move on to the actual program. Yeah, so what we are getting, we are getting a string, right? And what we can say is, uh, okay, in the message we just say a string, okay, just say a string, right? And we will also get the number, right? Multiplication, multiple, right? So we just store it same num and we'll get it as multiple, right? Something like this. Yeah, once we get both the output, in the logic part, what we'll be doing? We'll be printing all the cases, right? So we'll just build maybe the string so we can just print. So like string one will be like the part one will be. We just get the zeroth part, right? We'll append a space here, right? And we'll multiply it by five, right? Or five or num. We should do it with num because the multiplication factor will vary. Similarly, we'll do it for second index, right? We'll do string one, right? Plus empty space right and into num right likewise we know the length of the string will always be 5 so we have to do it say 5 times right so this will be 3 this will be for 4 and this will be for 5 this will be index 0 1 2 3 4 as I mentioned if we can use loops also but yeah this problem we are trying without loops right yeah. so this will be our logic part and we can just print all of these right
right so this will be our one approach to do this problem and we'll just print all of these right so this will be our one program or one approach to do this right here. so let's try to run it word and three so let's try to run our program for the test cases given word three okay we got some error card multiplied sequence by non integer of type string Okay, okay, so we forgot like we need to typecast this also in an integer form because whatever we read in Python it's come as a string. Okay, let's try it again. Word three. Good. So it's coming as expected. Okay, guys. So let's try to run it for second case also. Right? So what's the second case? It's A B A B A. A B A B A. And what will the multiplication factor? It's eight. Okay, guys. So it's coming as expected. Yeah, but whatever we are, it's printing, right? What we can also do, like if you want to say, create it as a single string. So we know, guys. So whenever we multiply it horizontally, right, using the normal multiplication operator, it returns as a complete one string. But here it's we are printing, but we are not being able to store it in a variable, right? But if I want to achieve it, like if you want to store it in a variable, what we can do? Yeah, so we need to change our program a bit and what it will be. And we can just say final string and how it will look like. In the string one, we'll append new line character, right? And then we'll say string two. Then we'll append a new line character, right? And then we'll again say string three. And then we'll append a new line character. And then we'll say string four. And we'll append a new line character and then we'll say string of five right so something like this we can also do so this will be a proper one string where this vertical multiplication will be stored it's not only we are printing and then we can print the final string so this will be also one approach for doing this yeah guys so this is our one approach also right where we have created a final string so it's not just we are printing we are preserving it also so later on if you want to use it for other purpose or we want to have a functionality similar to the horizontal multiplication vertical uh, multiplication also so we can use these strings also so okay let's try to run it for the test cases so we were having a one test case right word and three word and three right so this is also working so right so these are two approach which you guys can try yeah guys don't forget to hit the like button and also add your comments and share it with the friends also right so they can also try out these problems and don't miss out to subscribe to our youtube channel and also hit the bell icon so you don't miss all these awesome videos thank you guys stay tuned